Cars have always been such an important part of my life. I love muscle cars. I love my Jeep Grand Wagoneers. I like things that go fast and that are loud. But this is the one that takes the cake. Don't judge. My name is Blair Garner, and I am building my dream. A music concert venue called The Mule House. We've made a few friends along the way. Friends I'm looking forward to welcoming on stage. Because we dreamed it, we are doing it. So driving this car, this 1980 Buick Electro Limited, is it's a very emotional thing for me. And it's because of my mom. I lost my mom in 1994. My mom was my tireless cheerleader, my best friend, and very much my partner in crime. And this is identical to the car that she drove. In fact, this is one of our crimes. <laughs> Mom had this way of going out and buying the things that she wanted. And then I would be with her typically, and we'd have it all coming back. She'd say, now listen, when you see Dad, what you say is, it was on sale, right? Because, I mean, it was for sale, and that means like on same thing, right? So that's what we'll say. So, man... I got that. Mom wanted a new car. She and I went and got this 1980 Buick Electra Limited from Russell Buick in Amarillo, Texas. It was in the driveway when Dad came home from work that day. Mom and I sat in the living room waiting Dad's arrival. And when he walked through the door, she said, Gary, did you see the car? I saw it. <laughs> he slammed the door. I walked in and I think he was tucked away in his office for the most of the night. I mean, my dad's a great guy, but he did not like spending a lot of money. I get that. But mom and I, yeah, that was just one of the little capers we pulled. Anyway, being behind the wheel of this car is like being reconnected with my mom. So that's a really good thing. So the door challenge between myself and Eric. There are two doors on the inside of the mule house that we didn't account for when we made our plan. So my challenge was I'll strip one, Eric strips one. Whoever gets the most votes online when they're done is going to be the winner. Hey Blair. How are you, sir? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I need your help on a couple of sure. things. Sure. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. Uh, okay. It's been good news and bad news. Okay. Now you know we're you know turning the mule house. It was the old First Baptist Church. Yep. I'm trying to save a couple of vintage doors. I stripped it down as best as I possibly could, but the problem is there's so much detail in there. I was gonna stain it, but I can't get all the paint out. Okay. So that's the bad news. The good news is that by painting it, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a color and whether or not Eric, it'll be too late by the time he finds out, so I'll end up getting okay. the color that I like. Okay, so let me show you what we're dealing with. I need to get Temptation, either Temptation or Ashland Slate. What would you do for the interior trim? Is that like a satin? Usually a satin or semi-gloss, okay. one of the two. All right. Is this gonna look a whole lot darker? To me, well, what, what color are your walls? Uh, you know the exposed brick, I like the old yeah. vintage brick? Yeah, yeah. So kind of a red I brick. Look great. All right, then, can I get, uh, and first of all, do I need to put a primer down before I, because I've completely sanded it down. Bare wood. Yeah, yeah I would prime it. All right, let me get some primer and then let me get, I guess, a gallon of that. Okay. One of the things that I love about Zeke, first of all, you know, when you go into a store like this in a small town and they know your name and he keeps on file every single paint that I've ever chosen in the past, the Mule House has its own uh, little paint scheme. It's got a long index card of different colors that we've tried. But you know, this time, because of our little door competition, it's gonna kinda get locked in as to what this color is. And I would be lying if I didn't admit that kinda makes me happy. Nope, that is awesome. My friend, thank, thank you, you very always. much. Good to see you. I appreciate it. No, thank you. So where my mom had that thing about explaining to dad that something was on sale, I kind of do the same thing with Eric. I may have made a couple of purchases that he doesn't know about, and the question is, how can I tell him about them without, you know, upsetting things more than I have to? So I don't have a garage or any kind of a workspace really here, so when it comes to painting or staining, I'm gonna have to actually find one of our storage rooms at the Mule House and work on it there. I wanna show you this. This was the piece of wood that was on top of the front doors at the venue. Oh no. I mean, I say oh no because now I have to tell him about some stuff I bought. But anyway, look, this used to be, hey Horace, this used to be the outside 
I turned it around and this other side actually looked quite a bit like that but I've been sanding and stripping and staining and staining and sanding and stripping and hello I don't know how to describe it but it's this feeling I get right before Blair's about to tell me he's done something or bought something that he knows I'm not going to approve of you haven't seen this have you no uh, this was the piece of wood that was on the top of the main doors that looks really pretty Thank you, you very much. That? I did, I did. You really like it? Yeah, it's pretty. I want to mark this date down on my calendar. That's a win. <laughs> it's not. Well, assuming that you're in a good mood then, I do have a couple of things to share with you. I made a couple of, I called an audible on a couple of things that I wanted to buy. Now, right. bear in mind, this is for like my office. Did you get a new shirt while you're out today too? Oh, I went to uh, Columbia Paint and Wall Covering. Zeke yeah. hooked me up. It's good. Uh, thank you. So, okay, I want to show you this. This is a 1940 German Schrank, which look at that. Isn't that awesome? It's like so deco and stuff. Now, I know that it needs some work. I can paint it, and I got a really good deal on it, $125, and I think it'll be an awesome bar to have in my studio. Really ugly. As it is now. You paid $125? But it's a bargain. It's, it's a, like 124 it's really too much. Well constructed and it's going to be awesome when it's done. And then the other thing I'm really excited about, this is for my office. I know we have a couple, but look at this. This is an original Telefunken German stereo. We have three vintage radios. But none like this. What, this there is, totally, is one in the basement that looks just like no, that. No, 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 no. This one's different. Look, it's, it's got a tape recorder. It has a... All it's these cassettes we buy. No, not cassettes, reel to reel. Oh, I don't even know what that is. It's a reel to reel. Yeah. Yeah, so I got a bargain on this as well and uh, looking forward to putting that in my office. So, anyway, thank you for Gosh. allowing me the liberty of uh, Harvey, let's go. trusting Come me on. to. No, you're not upset, are you? <laughs> How do you. <laughs> you're riding our dog. How could you be upset? <laughs> He gives me grief over these little things that I find on Facebook Marketplace and Rehab. But here's the deal. Although he may not like it initially, when I'm done with it, he loves it. He won't tell me that, but when he's showing someone around and say, Oh, look at what we found on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, we just did a little work on it. It looks really great. And I'm like, we did a little work on that? You know, the funny thing about dreams, sometimes when you're turning them into reality, you have to adjust with the reality of the situation. Now, I had not intended to paint this door, but after 71 years of paint buildup in it, as much as I got out, you just couldn't get all of it out of the cracks. So that's the bad news. The good news is that I got to choose a color, and I'm hopeful if I get all the votes for the uh, door competition between myself and Eric, then he's going to have no choice but to go with the color that I wanted to have. It's all been fun. I want to thank you guys for following us, especially, oh my gosh, the, uh, the comments that you've left us on Facebook, you don't know what kind of fuel that provides us. It, uh, it's intoxicating. And the fact that you guys see the vision of what we're trying to build and you've embraced it, this is no longer a journey that my family is on. I truly believe that this is a community journey, not just for the people of Columbia, but for all the people who aspire to turn their own dreams into reality. And if that is you, I want to remind you of the awesome power that you have deep down inside of yourself. The dream that you may have had a long time ago has not died, but somewhere along the way, we got a little tripped up. We listened to the people who said that we couldn't. Well, listen, you got to shut that down. And from this point forward, you got to combine effort to the dream because the results are just, I wish it so much for you. It's the most amazing feeling in the world. Thank you for following us on socials at The Mule House. The shares on Facebook have been tremendous. Uh, please down below, if you're on YouTube, click like and subscribe. It again would help us get that word out so much. Uh, I would really appreciate that. But most of all, more than anything, believe in yourself because I believe in you. God bless you. We'll see you next time.